Welcome subscribers! Today is July 3rd, a day before Independence Day, and thank you so much for joining me here today, especially on a holiday. I know you're busy, but I wanted to take a, a little bit of your time here today and let you know that I didn't get a chance to trade today. But unfortunately, it wasn't because I was out having fun or, or out at the lake with friends. Uh, no, I got called into my part-time job. And if you're just joining us here today, uh, yes, I do have a part-time job that I, I do work at. And usually, I go into work at 12 o'clock, noon, Mountain Standard Time, and that allows me to day trade in the morning. And yes, I purposely made my schedule that way. And this is my whole reasoning uh, why I wanted to do this video today for you. First of all, I want to tell you that I have been with this company that I currently work for for truly half my life. I'm about to be 30. I've been with this company for 14, 15 years. And of course, it was my full-time job. And I thought that I wanted to become a full-time day trader. But I didn't just dive right into it. I didn't quit my job and, and try figuring it out. That, wasn't, that wouldn't have been very smart. Instead, I asked if I could go to a part-time status, and thankfully they, they allowed me to go part-time. From that point on, I worked extremely hard to understand how to trade the markets. I tried everything. It felt like everything anyways. I tried everything from penny stocks to large caps and trying to figure this out. I did it because I loved um, the idea of trading. I loved the idea of the stock market. I loved the idea of doing it um, full-time, straight from my own home computer. It, it, it would allow me to spend more time with my family if I did it full-time, of course. I had to try it first. I had to try many different uh, strategies, many different plans, many different uh, services. And I didn't lose a whole lot of money, but it took a lot of time, guys. The reason why I'm telling you all of this is I joined a couple of Facebook groups over the past week or so. And my main reason uh, for joining these Facebook groups is I want to help people. I generally do want to help people. I want to help people because I was at that stage one time. I didn't know who to turn to. None of my friends are into stock trading. None of my friends um, know anything about my about the stock market, nor did I know anybody that was um, involved in the stock market. So I had to search uh, for everything. I literally searched how to execute a trade. And that um, gave me limit orders and market orders. I didn't know what those were, so I searched it. Um, then, then came the idea of the bid and ask. I, I didn't understand, I didn't grasp the idea that um, I actually had to place an actual order and somebody actually had to sell me the stock uh, at that price that I wanted to, to buy. I didn't, I, I didn't get that at first. I thought I could buy at any price and, and, and go from there and I can sell at any price. I, I was that naive. And with that being said, guys, I never once actually asked people, how should I trade? How should I uh, execute a trade? What stocks should I trade? You can't expect to go into a, a group of people, to ask a group of people um, that have very little experience to begin with. Now, in this group of people, there might be a few that are very knowledgeable. But the majority of these people, you have to understand what you're asking these questions, first of all. Facebook. And the majority of these people are beginners just like you. And you can't expect to ask a question and get it asked in a professional or experienced manner either, guys. The number one question that I saw that was absolutely mind-blowing is, can I turn my $100 into a thousand dollars in an X amount of time? Yes, the answer is yes. The way to turn your hundred dollars into a thousand dollars in X amount of time is much more difficult and that's the better question to ask. You guys are asking the wrong question when you're asking can I turn X into X in, a, in X amount of time? That's a ridiculous question guys and I hope that this video uh, serves you uh, to to understand that 
you got to, you know, I understand that you're just starting out, but you got to ask the right questions. You got to help yourself. I can't help somebody that is not willing to help themselves. And by that, what I mean is do some research, guys. And, and there's no shortcuts. First of all, there's no shortcuts. There's no way that even in the strategy that I trade, um, even if I were to teach it to you, does not mean that you're going to make money tomorrow or the very next trade or next month or next year. It takes a lot of practice. Um, and in my strategy, uh, particularly, you have to know what options are, how to place those orders. It's much different. It, it, it is much different uh, placing an options order than a, um, a stock order. Much different. The number one hardest thing about trading is your emotions. Um, I've, you've, I've, you've heard me say it before, and I'll keep saying it. It's not the plan. It's not the strategy. It's not the amount of money that you're playing with. It's your emotions. Can you handle, and how can you handle, um, placing your money and, and watching your money bounce up and down? It is an emotional roller coaster. I'm sure you've heard it from many traders. That's the number one hardest thing about trading is your emotions. So, and, and also, um, I also wanted to let you know that you can't expect to ask the question, hey guys, I have X amount of money ready to trade, what stock should I trade or invest my money in? That's a ridiculous question, guys. Do you absolutely believe that you can go into a group and get a solid answer? If you ask this question a thousand different people, you're going to get a thousand different answers. They're going to be biased to what they're trading. And they might not know how to trade. They might know how to trade. How are you going to be able to determine if their answer is legitimate and or, and or sincere? Um, is there logic to their answer? Uh, do they have any evidence to back it up? And even if they presented you the evidence, can you actually determine if that's a good investment or a good trade for yourself or and your money? Come on, guys. Did it irritate me? Yes. But I have to sympathize with, with those um, beginners and understand that they don't know where to go. And I get that. Message me below, comment below if you have any questions and, and how to get started in, in trading options uh, or in the stock market. Uh, I don't have all the answers, nor will I ever claim that I have all the answers. I have a lot to learn, guys. I have so much to learn, and I try to learn each and every day. And my wife even gets uh, gets mad at me because I'm on my computer a lot of the time. I put in the work, guys. That's the main thing here. I have a burning passion for the stock market, for options trading. And I have worked extremely hard to try to perfect my strategy. I still have work to do. I will forever have work to do. Congratulations if you're, if you're watching this video and you were one of those that turned a hundred dollars into a billion dollars or a thousand dollars into a billion dollars. Congratulations and uh, lend a hand. Lend a hand. Lend a sincere hand. Um, I, I will try to be better at answering any questions that anybody has, not just beginners, and, and, and give you a, a honest and sincere answer. And if I don't know it, I will tell you. I don't know the answer and uh, I'll, I'll try to find that out for you and, and we can learn from one another. I can learn from you, you can learn from me. That's always something, I've always been open-minded about that is I will never, I will never possess full knowledge uh, of this uh, constant uh, changing stock market so I, I would like to learn from you as well. By, by that, um, I can't hand you all the answers. I can't hand you on a silver plate, on a silver platter, um, all the answers and how you can turn your $100 into $1,000 in a week. Um, that's just, that's not the way things work. Put the work in, into it, guys. I have, and I love it. I love the process. I love the daily grind. I pride myself in trying to find the best setups, the best trades uh, to place those trades. And um, that's, that's my whole um, sort of ambition. Thank you so much for watching. Please comment below what you thought about this video. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share my video. Uh, I would greatly appreciate that. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. I would greatly appreciate that too. 
and uh, thank you so much for watching.